What's up, Nintendo gamers? The Kid here with another new Super Mario Brothers U update. So, guys, there is a lot of exciting news, so pay attention. I'll be going down some of the things that have been revealed for new Super Mario Brothers U currently. So, um, let's start up with power ups, and then I'll get down to other things, and I will be listing what category they will be in. So, let's get started. So let's talk power-ups. P Acorn, which is similar to the P Wing from Super Mario Bros. 3, it allows you to fly indefinitely. Also, the penguin suit returns, but only in challenge mode. And also, similar to New Super Mario Bros. Wii, you can hold onto items between levels, but this time you will have only 10 slight slots of items you can carry. Now things about the world map. Nabbit. Nabbit is a new character that appears on the world map. You will have to catch him in one of the levels. The reward for catching him is a P acorn, and that's the only way you can acquire a P acorn. Baby Yoshis are found on the world map and can follow you into any level. Power ups are also found scattered about the world map. Peach's castle will be seen in cutscenes from time to time, growing in disarray. It will eventually be surrounded by a tornado. World themes include acorn plains, layer cake desert, sparkling waters, and frosted glacier, addition to soda jungle. There's another one called soda jungle. There is also a big island featuring the giant versions of enemies and blocks. So that's pretty awesome. Um, all this information now for challenges challenges are broken into different games this includes flying one-ups boost mode coin collecting and special challenges have difficulty ratings ranging from one star to five stars you are competing to earn a bronze silver or gold medal one challenge has you sliding down a hill in the penguin suit trying to defeat as many enemies as possible to earn a one up another challenge has you holding a baby uh, blue yoshi that spits out bubbles that you will need to bounce off of to reach a higher goal so there are a lot of challenges this time around i'm not going to go through them all but again you're going to be able to see these in the uh, links in the description that holds this news i will list a little bit more i guess um since i'm almost finished with them uh, one special challenge has you protecting a monty mole on a raft defeating uh, while defeating knocking out um the goombas the sl on a slow raft so if you guys have got that um, it also says more examples include making it through a stage without touching the ground um and you have to beat uh beat the big island level without defeating a single enemy so that's it's going to be really challenging um there are also some other things um that are actually new for us um in this update so i'll get to one of the new modes um that is actually a returning mode right now coin battle returns um so coin battle stages come in single player this time around too instead of just you know having two players also you can customize levels with coin placement so you can place coins wherever you want um, you can create them for you and your friends so that's really cool i really love coin battle and the first new super mario brothers for the ds so for it to be returning um, is really cool this time and having coin placement could make you potentially make a level full of coins and just all around fun or make it challenging to get coins so basically how coin battle works um you try to get as many coins as you can um not sure if you have to go to a goal on this one or if there's a timer to get as many coins as you can on a timer or as many coins as you can um, having a timer and having to reach a goal so not sure about that so that's some really cool news i see nintendo is really going all out on this new super mario brothers um edition 
Now about bosses, it talks a little bit about Browser Jr. or Bowser, sorry for saying Browser, Bowser Jr. Um, he will appear at random and ambush you. So um, does that mean that you can go to a level and then next thing you know, Bowser Jr. is there, ambush you? Um, who knows? It's It doesn't clarify um, what that exactly entails. It says one of these fights is in a an underwater airship where you must use Bowser Jr.'s torpedoes against him. Also, Morton Jr. fights with a giant hammer that can shape platforms around you. So it looks like boss battles will be a little bit more creative this time around. Uh, we all know in New Super Mario Brothers, uh, we and New Super Mario Brothers 2, they weren't as creative as they could have been, but it seems like this time around they are. So um, that's uh, the news right here, the current news right here. So guys, also... The official site for New Super Mario Brothers U has been opened, so there will be a link in the description there. It has some details on there that you may already know, but there's also some new artwork there too, which you will see in this video. There's a lot of new artwork that you will see in this video. So, um, what are my thoughts? Hmm. This edition of New Super Mario Brothers U seems to be the most ambitious um, with New Super Mario Brothers 2 being the previous most amb ambitious one. Um, so I'm glad again that Coin Battle is coming back because I really liked it. It was really fun and Challenge Mode seems like it's going to be really, really fun this time around. Um, because uh, I've been begging, I've been saying this a lot too, I've been begging for a challenge mode or mission mode in in a Mario game and it seems like I finally got that. So hopefully the challenges will be pretty, pretty hard. I mean, there's one uh, that I stated that has you completing a level without even touching the ground. So that's, that's, that's definitely going to be a hard challenge. Um, also with Bowser Jr. appearing randomly, like I said, I don't, it doesn't, the new, the details doesn't quite say that you will be ambushed in any random level, but, um, if that is the case, that'll be awesome. Also with P Princess Peach's, uh, uh, castle being, you know, engulfed in a tornado, um, I guess that is the actual tornado world that was a game informer had, uh, talked about in their, uh, October issue, um, where they said that there was a world engulfed in a tornado. So is, it's pretty much confirmed that, um, Peach's castle is the, going to be the final world or final boss. I don't know. Maybe the grasslands is the final world who knows. Um, but I can't wait for the game. There's a lot of information out now. Guys, check out the official site if you haven't already. It doesn't really have any new uh, details on it that you haven't heard already, but it is nice to see, and it does have new artwork. Um, so um, about Nabbit, uh, that's a pretty cool idea, you know, having to chase him through levels and stuff. He's really speedy, and the whole P acorn being able to fly um, indefinitely. Um, I like to see how that works because, uh, does that mean you can fly like, you know, go up in the air and just fly soar through the level? Um, because we all know that the acorn turns into a, a flying squirrel, which allows you to glide, um, depending on wh what height your jump was and you started gliding. But, um, as for the PA corn, does that mean this time you would just full blown be fine with, uh, you know, with total control of your altitude, um, and where you ascend and descend. So we'll see. So guys, that's it for this update. Those were my thoughts. Um, I'll be doing more updates on new super Mario brothers. You as more things are revealed. Thank you guys for watching.